Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Truman Center on the campus of Southeast Community College in Beatrice as we get ready for the Mudecus B Division Championship game between HTRS and Falls City Sacred Heart. Thank you to the JCC Strive Gold and Cornerstone partners, including Kerner Ace Hardware, Tecumseh Federal Bank, and Tecumseh Insurance Center, grown here and thriving since 1904 with personalized service. Brinkman Brothers, Inc., locally owned and operated since 1965. Smart Chicken, Tecumseh Poultry, LLC. Make the smart move to Smart Chicken. American National Bank, do more here. Rank Seed and the JCC Foundation. These broadcasts are not possible without your support. So thank you to the advertising partners of the Johnson County Central Strive crew. My name is Eric Olga. Jumping in tonight with the JCC Strive kids. We are getting ready for the Mudecus B Division third or championship game of the B Division, HTRS and Fall City Sacred Heart. Houston Bailey is alongside me. We got our, we got our all-star cast of JCC kids, and we're ready to go here, Houston. We uh, are getting ready for uh, intro introductions. So as uh, they kind of start with things that are going on, let's, uh, let's talk about what has happened so far here today. Tri-County in the uh, B Division third place game defeated Sterling in three sets. And then it was just a little bit ago as Meridian with a uh, two set nothing sweep over Palmyra. And that brings us to our uh, championship games, HTRS and Sacred Heart up first. Let's get the uh, player introductions on the PA. <laughs> Number 12, Holly Mouse. 
Thank you to the PA for that one. Now uh, into the game. So we got HGRS for the Fall City Sacred Heart for the B Division Championship game. So previously, like you said earlier, we had a uh, uh, facing off. Uh, I believe it was, oh, I can't remember now. Uh, it was, yeah, it was Meridian versus Palmyra and Meridian taking that one two nothing. And then earlier tonight, uh, uh, Tri-County taking it in a three set match, so. Yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, and then now here for the third game of the night here on JCC Strive. Um, and then later tonight we'll have the JCC team versus uh, versus Freeman there. Exciting so. times, JCC. Marcus isn't even sure the last time JCC girls were in the A division period, let alone the A division championship. So we'll talk about that plenty. Coming into it now uh, with an early start here. Early start here now. Uh, HGRS taking that one. This B division bracket uh, finished out correctly with the one versus two seed. Uh, the A division bracket does not look the same. We'll talk about that a little bit later on if you haven't been following along all week. And now some back and forth action here. Um, keeping it up. Good spike attempt there from HTRS. A tap over attempt there from uh, Ellie Bestanding there for HTRS. Doesn't quite clear, so that one's gonna go there to uh, uh, to Fall City Sacred Heart. Now 1-1. One, one. Hits the net giving that one to Fall City Sacred Heart once yep. again. Could, couldn't quite clear there for uh, LA Bestanding. Lexi Brewer now up to serve there for Fall City. Clean serve, goes over, set up there. Garther there. Good block there. Giving that one to now HGRS. A good block there from Bestanding. Ellie is standing there for HTRS now serving over here. The Libero there for HTRS. Can't quite see that number. What's that number eight, on the eight? That eight? is Jaylee McNeely. Jaylee McNeely. A literal punch from Vertiska <laughs> on that attempt, by the way. And, and then the big block. Now Fall City with it, three to two. Coming to serve now for Fall City Circuit Hurt, Destry Groff, or Groff. Groff. Groff, okay, I got it right the first time. Yep. <laughs> Just taps the top of the net, goes over though, and HRS not able to get under that. Right back to Sacred Hearts court. Yeah, Daisy Witt played that well. That's what the aggressive serve can get you, get you an overpass coming right back. Witt was sitting on it, waiting for that to come right back to her and uh, put it down there. Groth with her second and great expert placement there from Groth, giving it another one to False City. Now 5-2. Now about to serve for her third time in a row. Clearly, HGRS thought that was going to go out, but stayed in. Another <laughs> really good aggressive serve. She's really good at serving there. It's it's almost, I would say, perfect placement there. And now HCRS taking, hopefully, as they hope, the momentum away from Fall City, trying to get some momentum of their own now. 
into the net there. Sailor Huffless there was on that surf race, Cheres. Now on the other side. Good serve there from Harley Hardesty, but unfortunately goes out and out to the line. Uh, J Harley Hardesty. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. That last serve was from uh, Gentry Luchtenberg. And set a little high, goes out there on Falls City. HTRS now with the serve again. Going back up. Yeah, that was a kill by Vertiska. Got that one, uh, a good, good in-system uh, attack that time for the Titans. Kozel with another great serve. And out. Now tied up here at six again. HRS getting their footing. Yep, tried to set up Scholl on the far side and, and just didn't quite get on top of that one, sailed it long. Clean serve, good dive there. Lexi Brewer and out spike. Houston, there's no such thing as a spike. It's an attack. Oh, okay. Thank you. An attack, it's a swing, it's a kill attempt. It's not a spike. Oh, okay. We're not in elementary school anymore. <laughs> okay. Into the net there from HTRS. <laughs> now tied back up at seven. Second service error for the Titans, one for the Irish. Addison Keller up there. Great serve there. Falsi has some great servers here. He's going to be coming in very important, especially in the late game here. Keeping it up. Attack there, good, and lays down for probably a kill. HTRS is Macy Vertiska. Now coming up to the line as well, Vertiska. Yep, Ver Macy with her second kill of the, of the uh, early part of this set. And HTRS has a 8-7 lead. Far attack goes out. Daisy Witt, again, couldn't quite get on top of that one. Looked like she was a little hesitant trying to get off the floor, wasn't quite sure of her timing, so a little late getting off the floor, couldn't get the hand on top, couldn't get the drop down. Another serve from Vertiska, HTRS. Keeping it up, tack into the net, no good. Yeah, that never never cleared the net, went into the net and bounced mm -hmm. back, so there's the four hits. Yep, Bowen trying to get some sort of momentum there. Tried to break away here, but just gives it there to Fall City. This is Witt on the serve for the Irish. Got it. Stays in. Now it's tied at nine. Second ace of the set for the Irish. Another serve here, going from Witt. Oh, it looks like it just bounced straight down there from a little burrow on the HRS side. Oh, that was, Neely. that one fell off the table, right? Cleared the net and just whoop, straight down. <laughs> that was a great serve by Witt. Keeping it up, just gonna hit it over there from HGRS, keeping it up. A very good attack there on Paul Myra. I think that was uh, enough. Uh, it's Sacred Heart. Or yeah, Sacred Heart. McKinley Scholl with the, uh, got that one down. And again, that one got her hand on top, able to put it down, and 11 and nine. Whit back up to serve, third time in a row here, 11 and nine, little breakaway here, but HTRS is definitely going to want to break that as far as possible. Keeping it up. Good block attempt there from HTRS. Oh no, are they going to be able to get that? Wow. A good attempt there. 
incredible athleticism from Scholl trying to get under that. Yep, Lillian Bowen able though to uh, to terminate that for the point, and it needed one at that. That had been a 4-1 run for Sacred Heart. Brings it back to a one point game. And Bowen here for HCRS. Clean serve over. And not quite able to That's get under ace. quite right. Yes. Ace there from Bowen. Is that her first? Yes. Bowen up to serve again. Witt couldn't quite get under that last one. But now with another attempt set up from Witt. And a beautiful attack there from Scholl. Scholl and Witt, the only two with actual kills so far for Sacred Heart, but they're getting it done. They got a block from Lechtenberg, uh, two aces from Witt, and another ace from Groth in there as well. Mm -hmm. Scholl now with the serve again. Go! Stays in. That's called catching the back edge of the line. Mm. We need the, we need the uh, tennis uh, computer graphic to see where did that ball skid exactly. That oh, was yeah. really, really close, but the official's standing right on that line for that reason. Oh, no, they're going to have to make a break for it to get that. Yeah, not quite able to get there. False City with it again. Sacred Heart's shoal back up to serve. I believe this is her third time now. Officials talking here. Sure. Coach Emma Ebel's like, hey, your scoreboard's backwards. Sacred Heart in the gym here is the guest on the scoreboard. Our scoreboard's right because we only have names. Yes. So we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. Though now it's the other way around now, Terry. Make sure you don't look at the scoreboard too much. <laughs> That attack goes out. And a point for Sacred Heart and a timeout taken by HTRS. Let's take our timeout as well. And we will come back in 30 seconds on the JCC Strive channel. Hey, they need to get a good loan app. Who in the world is this person? Is this guy crazy? We don't have time for this. No way. Let's get this meeting started. Profits are down. How do we squeeze our fees out of these people? What is this going to do to my dividends? We have to get out of these small towns. At Tecumseh Federal Bank, our primary focus is to serve our community both now and in the future. High School Sports on the JCC Strive Channel brought to you by the Silver Sponsors, the Community Insurance Group, State Bank of Table Rock, Hasselback and Pharmacy, Cab Farms LLC, Levon Beathy Carpentry, Assemble, Tecumseh Animal Clinic, and Remedy. We cannot do this without your financial support. And back into it now, False City with an incredible attack. Now giving them another point here, 16-11 now. Yeah. Going right back up to serve now, Scholl. Counting the ones before our break, this is our fifth time in a row now. Yeah, Lechtenberg got into that one. And that's off the tape, or off the antenna, I should say, and a point for the Irish. So how about five aces in the first set, and now a couple of unforced errors for HDRS. Suddenly the mm -hmm. deficit is six. This had been so close, and it's two straight points for Sacred Heart coming out of the HTRS timeout. Out there on H, uh, on False City's serve, giving it to HTRS now, 17-12. Larry McGlather on serve for the Titans. Hopefully to gain back the momentum and get the ball rolling here for HTRS. Oh, and a beautiful spike caught in the defense of Fall City there. Er, now with it. Avery Deerberger with that uh, that kill there, her first of the set. And another out there on Fall City, 17-14. Just in the eyes notice that lead has been cut down to half, only three point lead now. Another clean serve there. Unfortunately out, little too much power on that. Third service error of the set for, excuse me, for 
HDRS two for Sacred Heart. Lexi Brewer, clean serve here, sets it up. Avery Deerberger lays it down there for HTRS, gaining another point there, giving it right back to their team. Uh, and then number eight, the libero there for HTRS, uh, Jaylee McNeely, good serve there from her. Great attack, unfortunately unable to get under it there. No, it was off the top of the block, so that's a point Irish. Yes. She did hit it off the top, yep. So I guess it's unfortunate if you're a Titan, it's unfortunate if you're Irish. You yeah, I don't know. As an announcer, you <laughs> yeah. gotta be careful when you say that. I don't know why I just kinda went with unfortunate went out. But unfortunate that went to the net. Right. When in doubt, I tried to, th to say it in the positive. It was fortunate that it went off hands for the Irish. You would have said it the other way if it was fortunate for mm -hmm. HTRS. Whatever the positive is, stay that. I'll keep that in mind. There you I, go. I Always learning. That. Always learning. Set up and a decent attack there. Unfortunately, I'm unable to go over by Vertiska. So here we can say it in the negative. That is like the fourth time we've seen an attack from HTRS slam into the top of the tape and not roll over. They keep bouncing back on their own side. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, between the, between the attacks into the net and ace serves by the Irish, HTRS is probably winning this thing. But you let a team like Sacred Heart hang around with those other kind of plays, then when they get to one in system, Shoal able to terminate. Three kills for Shoal in the set, and suddenly it's 21-16. Serving again here there for Falls City, um, Gentry Lechtenberg. <clears throat> Excuse me. Popping it up here for HTRS. Good hit over there. Bowen, unfortunately for the HTRS team, that block is not clear. And now a timeout there for HTRS. Let's stay here, it's 22-16 and a second timeout taken by HTRS. I wanna say thank you to the Thunder Buddies too. We understand mm -hmm. Marcus tells me, hey, people are just, they're still coming, coming in. That's fine. It takes some financial support to make the broadcast look as good as you are right now. Thunder Buddies this year include Spring Creek Agency, Dennis and Barb Gatula, Chris and Gail Hutt, Jim and Julie North, Bowling Construction, Dave and Paula... Uh, Strabi. Strabi, thank you. Uh, Weary Mortuary Monument, Ali Swanson, Lisa and Kendall Schuster, Morrissey Morrissey and... Deluji. Deluji and LB Salon. Oh, all. also we did not forget about our gold sponsors, uh, Western National Bank and Johnson County Hospital. Did only I, only two. Did I not say them before? <laughs> no. Oh. Well, yep. thank, yes, thank, <laughs> yeah. thank you to everyone. <laughs> yeah, we, it's a very small bracket on our, on our paper, but still very important there. Yeah. Uh, only two this year. Last year we had a lot more than that, so. You know, a big change from last year, but well, you had a, you have more cornerstones this year, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we because uh, we opened up, so we used to have four because corners, four corners, but now we just kind of rotate through them, and it leaves open because we had a lot of questions about it. But uh, as of last year, price up went up a little bit, but for the opportunity that brings, definitely worth it. And now, it's coming out of the timeout, HTRS with two quick ones. Uh, up the surf race, HTRS was uh, Hannah Kozel. And she's serving once again there for him. And then a double hit. So now some of the mistakes that HTRS was making on defense, Sacred Heart is making on defense, and a timeout for Coach Emma Ebel. Let's take this one. 30-second break. We'll come back to Beatrice right after this. As a community of bank, it's important for us to support, educate, and to serve our communities. Giving back is part of our culture. It's built into our client model. We do more here by sponsoring, donating, volunteering, and being active participants in the communities that our employees call home.
And we're back, 22-19. Sacred Heart has taken their first timeout. HTRS out of timeouts here in this first set. Best of three, so winning the first one's awfully important. And now Fall City and a good defense there blocked by HTRS's uh, three. That is uh, Vertisca. I believe that was five on that. Bowen. Yeah, it was a good job. Macy Vertisca was over there and really uh, was able to reach over and push that one straight down. Another great serve and an opportunity here for the Titans. Good dig. Ooh, good dive there over there on the Fall City side. I believe that was from Brewer, but unable to capitalize on that dig. Sets it right back over to HTRS's territory. Now we're almost tied up, actually. 22 to 21 now. Another block there from HTRS. Nope, that one was just in the net too, but another timeout taken here as we are all squared up at 22 apiece. So let's stay here. This is fun right now. Did they give that one to uh, uh, HTRS, right? They gave the point, but it was it was a hit. The attack was into the net. Okay. Not, it wasn't a block. Okay, gotcha. So now here, tied here at 22. I got a question earlier tonight from a fellow crew member wondering if uh, I knew anything about these teams, and I, I saw some games earlier in the, uh, earlier some of their other games, and I personally saw a lot of the same that we're seeing here now. A lot of great serving on both ends, but um, a lot of powerful serves there on. Uh, Fall City side, and now some good momentum on HTRS's side. And just getting started again there. But yeah, like I saw previously, some good defense on both sides, some good offense. Uh, both teams well versed in just playing the game of volleyball. And now back to it. Trying to keep it in play, HTRS sends it back over. Beautiful attack there from Fall City's, or sorry, yep, Fall City Sacred Hearts, Shoal, assisted there by Groth. Yeah, good one there. Finally got, finally got Shoal in system and uh, able to finish that one right in the middle. Ooh, that's Keller up to the line now for Fall City. And looks like she might have just placed her hand a little, a little wonky there on the serve. Kind of saw it hit her wrist a little bit and goes into the net. Now gives it to HTRS, 23 tied. Five service errors for the Irish in the set. Great serve there from HTRS's for Tiska. Good block attempt, keeping it up. Bringing it back over, Fall City. Keeping it up, they gotta send it over. Fall City now with the option to capitalize. A little tap over, oh, and HTRS could not keep up. A good attempt there from Deerberger, but Fall City takes it. So now it's set point 24-23. Uh, HTRS has just gotta defend once to make Fall City have to go another point because of a two-point rule. Oh, got her in oh, there for the eighth. Wow. Boy, that was driving hard, and again, just fell down right at the very end of that one. And so uh, set one goes 25-23 to the Irish. Boy, that got fun in a hurry, though. We are going to take a break. We will come back for set number two between the Irish and the Titans after this. You're watching the JC. The seed was planted back in 1848 when Nicholas Rink bought a farm near Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. And it's kept growing, six generations of Rinks working the land, producing seed for farms throughout the Midwest. We've grown since our first corn hybrid in the 1920s, but we've continued our family tradition by creating the superior genetics and technologies today's farmers need to feed the world. Rink Seed, our roots make the results. The JCC Foundation supports students by awarding scholarships and funding special projects. Each year there's up to $12,000 in scholarships available to JCC seniors. Apply now no matter the type of post-secondary education you pursue. 
There are three $1,000 scholarships for trade schools, three $1,000 scholarships for community colleges, and three $2,000 scholarships for four-year colleges. The JCC Foundation's vision is to strengthen our school community and student body by fostering and encouraging investment in our children's futures. Welcome to Schroeder Family Dentistry, your local dental office in Tecumseh and Adams. We are in Adams on Monday and Tuesdays and Tecumseh on Wednesdays and Thursdays. We accept patients of all ages and focus our treatment on prevention and education. We provide dental cleaning services, fillings, crowns, dentures, extractions, and Invisalign. Please give us a call for all your dental needs. We are located at 509 Broadway Street in Tecumseh and 610 Main Street in Adams. Schedule your next appointment with us and we'll keep you smiling. We are back here at the Truman Center at Southeast Community College in Beatrice for the Mudecas Volleyball Championships. B Division Championship now, A Division Championship coming up after this one. Set number one belongs to the Sacred Heart Irish, 25-23. Remember, it was 22-16, so uh, in favor of Sacred Heart, and HCRS tied that thing at 22, and again at 23 before Sacred Heart won the last two points. So HCRS, even though they lost the set, Houston, they might be coming into this second set with a little bit of momentum. And as soon as I say that, service <laughs> error. <laughs> Straight that, into that the net there. That's exactly how that works usually, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my. <laughs> if you've ever heard of the broadcaster's jinx, I can only tell you that it is very, very real. McKinley Scholl now for Fall City. A good dig there from HCRS's uh, Bowen. Fall City able to get some way ahead with that. Bowen again for a good attack there. Almost blocked entirely by Lechtenberg. Return. And stays in there. Wow, yeah. Another close one. A lot of them are on the line uh, tonight, you know. Casey Witt got that one down. Scholl back up again for Fall City now. Two nothing and out serve. One thing to keep an eye on, that's the sixth service error overall. And you know, we're only three serves into the second set for Sacred Heart. It's funny, I was listening actually to the uh, radio replay of Nebraska Stanford with John Baylor uh, coming down here. Just had to, get oh the, my. had to get my mind right, yeah? Uh, Nobody could serve it Tuesday night out in Palo Alto. We're a little struggles for Sacred Heart early on here. Uh, we, had, we just had a huge block there from uh, Bowen and uh, uh, I believe that was also uh, the standing over there on the right side, just completely stopping that ball from moving. And now again there for HTRS. Derberger. Derberger got that one down, her third kill of the match. Puts it up. A good attack, another block there. Into the net, actually. So oh, it was, yes, uh, it was four, the, uh, the hit went into the net, so four, four hits on Sacred Heart. But the point remains for HDRS. Not quite able to get under that. Good attempt there from uh, Gather. McNeely got that one. That's uh, Jaylee McNeely's first kill of the match. Another great serve there from Fall City. Trying oh. to keep it up. And unfortunately unable to it. And did a double hit there, or went over there, hit number maximum. Oberding, Four not, hits, yes. Not McNeely, I, I was looking at the wrong team myself. Yeah, they're kind of, uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why it's easy to do that. I think it's just because there's no logos on it, you know. Uh, Lexi Brewer with another serve from Fall City. Oh, gives it again. touched that. That block was coming back over her head and out of bounds, and she just couldn't quite stop herself there <laughs> to knock that one out. 
5-4 now with Fall City with the lead. Fall City takes this set away. That's going to conclude this game, but HTRS puts it out. 6-4 now. So we have, we're at 6-4 in the first set as mm. well. So we might be seeing a repeat, but right around this time they tied up, I believe. So let's see if it happens. Ellie was standing with her first kill of the match, and she liked that one. Boy, right off her hand, she knew that was going down. Uh, Vertiska comes in for HTRS as a libero. McNeely comes in here for the serve. Ooh, right off the right off the knuckle looked like going out. And just like I said, I think this is pretty much almost identical there to last set. Now tied up at six. And now they play a little bit back and forth here. And then that fall steady now with it. Second service error of the set for HDRS, their fifth of the match. Groth up here for Fall City. Keeping it up. A good attack there over on HTRS's Derberger. Good dig there. Head in. Or sorry, shoal there for Fall City. <clears throat> Getting to see the athleticism from both sides on this rally. And then finally the finisher from Lechtenberg. Now 8-6. Groff right back up to the line there for Fall City. Great hit over. Ooh, it looks like maybe a lift here. Um, Actually, they called Sacred Heart for being over the top oh, of the okay, net. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's why that—that's why I called it look like lift. <laughs> Set up there by Groth, and a hit blocked, but unfortunately for HTRS, lands straight down on their side, giving it to Fall City. So who had the attack? I missed that part. Uh, I believe it was uh, over there, number ten. Sure. Yes. That's five kills for McKinley in the match. Beautiful, beautiful serve there. And immediately a hit back, unfortunately, goes out there for Fall City. Yep, Dacey Witt did that exact play in the first set and had <laughs> it come straight back down. That time, missed it wide just a little bit. Kozel now there for HTRS's serve. Keeping it up. Out. Now tied here at 9-9. Nine, nine. The HTRS student section for the guys has, uh, has come alive in the last few points. <laughs> Ooh, great block. Yeah, that went down. Wow, to go all the way cross court and still find the line. That's, that's some fun stuff there. Macy Vertiska with her second block in the match. Right back up to serve again there for HTRS. Kozel, I believe her third time in a row now. Quick return, can they capitalize? HTRS, good attack there, unfortunately. Net violation, yep. Irish. There it is. Well, before that net violation, a good attempt there from Fall City for getting under that ball. They look like they kind of maybe returned that over, but unfortunately, net violation invalidates that entire play there. Kozel again here for HTRS. Ooh, straight into the net. Bow in there. Unfortunately, tries to hit it over, catches the net. Straight in the middle, 10-11 now. Sorry, 11-10 here. Fall City now with the serve again. Over there, looks like 16. Ooh, 16, Addison Keller. Another serve. A block, able to get it back over though. Oh, and catches the line once again. Sure did. 
Daisy Witt has she has been dancing around the back line and this in the left sideline. Uh, that one did catch the line on the back. You know, just when they kind of move their angle there to the right of the line, HTRS I mean, when they move right over to the right just to make sure it doesn't catch the line again, then it hits the back line. And they're in fourth. Now they're a great serve there on uh, Fall City side from Keller again. Keeping it up, but standing. Ooh, and a hit over, unfortunately blocked there for Fall City. And a good hit down there. Keller got that one down. Second of the match, first of the set. It was a good attempt there by Bowen, and I uh, believe that was also uh, Kozel over there for the block, but doesn't quite land. Fall City was able to recover. Keller with another serve. Keeping it up, but standing. Hit over from Keller. Or from uh, Scholl, I mean. Wrong, wrong one. Hits down. Fall City takes that one. Now 13-11. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to watch how these kind of scramble plays keep working out. Sacred Heart has won their share so far. Scholl with another one. Goes over great, some miscommunication on HTRS's side. Groth and Witt thinking about, or sorry, uh, the standing and Vertisca looking about who was maybe gonna get that one. Unfortunately, neither of them made the attempt there at the end. And we got a timeout, HTRS. Let's take a break as well from Beatrice, 14-11, Irish on top. to our silver sponsors, including Community Insurance Group, State Bank of Table Rock, Hasselback Pharmacy, Cab Farms, LLC, LaVon Beefy Carpentry, Assemble, Tecumseh Animal Clinic, and Remedy. Thank you to all the advertising partners on the JCC Strive channel. Coming out of the timeout, make it 14-12. Titans trailing, but serving now with Vertisca. Unable to block it there, gets thrown into another teammate, tries to get it, but lifts it. Given that one there to Fall City there. Witt with the serve now. Great serve there, unfortunately getting under that. Does not pay off as it flies out to the left. Another point there for Fall City, 16-12. Now with a little bit of a leeway of four points, Fall City is gonna look to extend that lead so that even if uh, HTRS gets a couple points here and there, they can still stay on top and win it out. Hits and stays in there for Scholl, assisted by Witt. Yep, Scholl took advantage of the fact that the back row was, I don't know if we were missing somebody, Witt, somebody was definitely out of position because back middle was completely wide open and both girls turned and went, it's in. Everybody knew it was in, they just, nobody could cover it. I think again, that goes to what I said previously was when they are kind of uh, looking at the sides of it, making sure it doesn't quite hit that line and then of course, just when they do that, hits the back line, and then vice versa, protect the back line, hits the side. It just, it's a little bit of a repetitive thing, and they just gotta get their foothold here and make sure it quite gets there. And now HTRS with it, uh, up there to serve Bowen there. Lily Bowen, she's been serving pretty well here tonight for HTRS. And a hit in 
McKinley Scholl is up to seven total kills in the match, seven, uh, three of them in this set. Scholl up to serve there for Fall City. And lays down there from the assist, from the assist from uh, Garther. Uh, Avery Deerberger was able to hit that down and bring it home for HCRS that point at least 18-14 now. Oh, and the HCRS defense, unfortunately, instead of bouncing it right back, almost caught that and left it on their side, giving it right back to Fall City now. Yep, Oberding able to kind of muscle that one enough into the block that it ended up going straight down. Now Brewer with it for the serve for Fall City now. Return and stays in there for HGRS, giving them another one, 19-15. Yep, Ellie Bastani got that one down and, and found a spot going cross court that time. That's twice she has gone cross court and been able to find a spot in the defense. That one hit the antenna off of Sacred Heart first point HGRS. McNeely now for HCRS serving. Ooh, hits it back up. They've got to recover this. Uh-oh. Yep. Unfortunately, not being able to angle it right and get it over. It just goes straight up and comes down back on HCRS's side. 2016 now. Fall City with a serve again there. Destry Groth comes up there. Great serve over there from Groth. Keeping it up. Ooh, and a block. Able to recover a little bit. They gotta still get to go over. And they do. Oh my, what are they gonna net, call that? Net violation on Witt. Yeah. Yep, she was trying to do that uh, play right at the net, tried to get one down. She just had a little too much momentum going toward the net that time. Couldn't quite keep herself out of it as she was coming down. Yeah, HRS taking that one now. I believe that was a serve there from Derberger. Hits it over and unfortunately for Fall City, laying down pretty hard there from Bowen. And now a timeout there from, uh, from Fall City Sacred Heart. And will they take a break? We will too. Thank you for watching JC Strive. We'll see you after this. At Kerner True Value in Tecumseh, we are more than just a hardware store. We are a part of your community, a place that you can call home, where you can go to find necessities for everyday living, products to tackle the next big do-it-yourself project, and expert advice. We are a business of relationships, not transactions. We are locally owned, and serving our community is our top priority. So. Stop by or like us on Facebook. Stay safe. From your family at Kerner, True Value in Tecumseh. So similar to how set one went, Sacred Heart was somewhat in control. Takes a late timeout and suddenly HDRS right back in it. Sacred Heart did win the first set, 25-23. HDRS trying to flip the tables here in set number two. And now the timeout, they will have an opportunity. They're back within one. Hit straight to the net there from uh, Fall City now. Back up to serve there for HTRS. Derberger. Delaney Witt, she loves that overpass little tip shot. She'd be great at Nerf basketball. <laughs> you know, you hook the bat, little hoop on the back of your bedroom door. She'd be great at just going right in there. <laughs> now Fall City serving here. I believe that was Keller there on the serve. Oh no, that was uh, that was Lechtenberg. And then Vertiska was in the net as she went up to try to block that. 22-19 now. Fall City has a very good possibility of taking this set home and then taking home the game which this is the uh, B Division Championship. So 
They'd be taking away the championship here for Mudekis Volleyball. Lillian Bowen gets that kill to go down. And the Titans say, not so fast, Houston. We're not done yet. 22-20 now. Up to serve there, Kozel there. For HGRS, goes clean over and hits, hits the antenna there on Fall City there. Second ace of the set for the Titans. Down by one. They were down six, remember, in that first set, 22-16, and got it all the way back and tied it at 23. And then Bowen pushes one back down. Timeout, Sacred Heart. Deja vu all over again. We'll keep it here for this one. So you got some stats maybe that we can uh, we can explore here? I do. Well, you got Ellie Bastanian with a couple of kills in this set. Lillian Bowen has three, including that last one. And Avery Derberger has two for HTRS. The Titans have two ace blocks in this set, and they have two aces as well. They've also been on the lower end of the service errors, and they remember we were a little concerned with how things were going early on in this set, but things have calmed down service error-wise. Two for HDRS in the set, one for Sacred Heart. For the Irish, Lechtenberg with a kill. Witt's got four kills in the set. Scholl with three, Keller with one and two for Oberding just in this set. And here we are at 22-22. And then just a serve there from Kozel. Trying to keep it up, got to get it over there. And they do, HGRS looking for a quick return. Far out. Just missed it. Vertisco with a great attack. Doesn't land quite how she expected it to. Well, that did not miss by much. But a great angle back there. And do or die time right now for the Titans. Keller up to serve here for False City. Gets it up here. Ooh, and the defense wasn't quite able to bounce that over. They got to get it over. And they do. Sets it up. No, decides to uh, tap it over there. Oh, another one. And that one goes out, unfortunately. And that one, wow. if it was going to land in, that would have caught well, the defense. Cre credit oh. to Sacred Heart's defense. Coach Cook at Lincoln would have been proud of that. Hustle after all of those balls. We got the final timeout taken by HTRS. I've dropped my pen. I'm so excited. Thank you. <laughs> a division championship game is coming up. Uh, they will probably wait until the 8 o'clock hour to start that one. It's JCC and Freeman, the darlings of the tournament. The Thunderbirds are, first of all, they're in the A division, which has not happened in a long time. And the last time that they actually won was back in 2008 when yeah. they went back to back actually from the year previously, 2007, 2008, yeah. back to back A division winners. But since then, almost not a word here in the Medecas tournaments, but now again, for the first time, and again, <laughs> I don't know how long, they're back in it. Yep. This is match point for the Irish. HRS got to have a really good run here. Wow. Avery Durberger said, give me that right there. 24-23 now. Still match point. Yes, still match point. They got to get one more HGRS. I mean, they got to get one more here to make that two-point rule in, enact itself here for HGRS. Great serve there. Vertisca on it. HGRS. Tap over. Maybe playing it safe there on HTRS's side. Goes out. No touch. Tie game. Right back up to serve there for HTRS for Tiska. HTRS has to win this set to stay in it. Tap over, down on the defense side of HTRS. Not quite able to get that up. Giving it straight back to Fall City now. They've got to get one singular point here. And they take all the cake. Dacey Witt just got the kill and now goes back to serve for the win. 
Oh, and it taps in that. Hits down hard. And now the winners of the B Division Mudecus Tournament, Fall City Sacred Heart. Folks, Houston's going to head down and have a word with uh, Sacred Heart coach Emma Ebel here very, very soon. So uh, stay tuned with us for that. Sacred Heart wins it two sets to none. 25-23 and 26-24. Some final stats for HTRS. Ellie Bestanding with two kills and a block. Macy Vertiska, two kills and two blocks. Lillian Bowen with five kills, a block, and an ace. Hannah Kozel with a block and an ace. Jaylee McNeely with an ace and five kills for Avery Derberger. For Sacred Heart, Gentry Lechtenberg with three kills. Daisy Witt with seven. McKinley Scholl with seven. Addison Keller with two. Jocelyn Overding with two. I also had Witt with five total aces, including the game winner. Fantastic stuff there. Growth with an ace, and then three aces for Scholl as well. Lechtenberg also added two blocks uh, in the game. So uh, some really, really good stuff there from both these squads. Let's take a listen in as HTRS is going to be awarded the uh, plaque for the runners-up of the uh, B division of the Mudecus Volleyball Tournament. And now for the champions. All right, so we are uh, going to wait for a team picture, and then uh, Houston will be down there with uh, Coach Ebel, and we will also have the uh, Jane White All-Tournament teams.
Congratulations to all of those players. We will have the uh, full recap of those players and listed out on uh, our strivesports.com post where you can find all of that uh, coming up a little bit later on tonight. But congratulations again to Fall City Sacred Heart. Two sets to none winners, 25-23, 20, 26-24 over HDRS. Titans, certainly nothing to hang their heads about. That's a well-fought match. Uh, against a team who has been in a championship type of an atmosphere uh, with a trophy on the line plenty of times. Uh, that is a, a fine representation, though, and a good learning e experience for HTRS, I believe. And like we said, we will uh, be heading down with uh, Houston Bailey and Coach Emma Ebel coming up here in just a little bit. I believe, they haven't officially announced it yet, but I do believe we will be waiting for the 8 o'clock hour for the actual start of our A Division Championship between JCC and uh, Freeman. So uh, stick around with us for that. Ah. My Chicken está contratando para todos los puestos de tiempo completo y parcial. Ofrecemos pago semanal con bono por hora. Obtenga todos los beneficios. Okay, we have finally got Houston Bailey with Coach Emma Ebel. And if we can cue them up, I am ready if you are. Take it away, Houston. Uh, I'm here with Emma Ebel here uh, for the Fall City Sacred Heart team, just winning after that New Decus uh, B Division tournament. What would you say to your team to motivate them to really go get it here today? Um, we've just been talking about getting better and better every game and every point and every practice, and we've really kind of started to put that into action today. So, uh, Buckling down here on this win, what does that really mean for your school moving forward? Um, it's kind of a turning point for us. We had a slow start to this season. We're athletic, but we're young, and I feel like this week has been a great week for us to really just take a positive step forward as to what the rest of the season can and will hopefully look like. I don't feel like we're playing our best volleyball by any means yet, but I feel like it's a huge step in the right direction. And moving forward, what would be probably your biggest thing to work on here coming into future games on your teams, like uh, so far defense, offense? What's the biggest thing you think your team really needs to tackle, tackle before you go on to next games? Um, I think our thing all season and what we're finally kind of nailing down is consistency. You know, we have really high highs and really low lows, and that's part of the game, but how do we kind of level that out a little bit so we play our best or close to our best every time we step on the floor? So definitely consistency. Hi, sweet girl. Thank you. Thank you. All right, have a great day. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So
All right, thanks a lot, Houston. Congratulations again to, hit, uh, to uh, Fall City Sacred Heart. Go to the... It's always a learning experience, folks. We'll get there. It will be better. We will have the A Division Championship, JCC and Freeman. 8 o'clock start time for our final game tonight. Thanks for joining us on the JCC Strive channel. Don't forget to check out the replays on strive.tv slash mudecus tomorrow once we get the files all squared away here tonight. Thanks for watching us tonight on the JCC Strive channel. We'll be back in a few.